Hello everyone and welcome back to 55 Fitness. My name is Emily and today I have 55 Fitness instructor Sam here. She's going to be guiding us through a stretch today. 55 Fitness specializes in group fitness classes and personal training for women ages 55 plus. At 55 Fitness, no one ever feels intimidated, overwhelmed, out of shape or out of place. I'm Emily, come and join us. Hello everyone, welcome. My plan for today is to kind of stretch out the whole entire body. We're gonna be working from the top of our head all the way down, finishing off with that lower body. We're gonna start off in a standing position, but for this guided stretch for today, I am gonna ask that you guys have a mat, towel of some sort, a nice soft cushy surface that we can work on and really getting into that relaxing stretch. So again, like I said, we'll start in that standing position and we'll just kind of jump right in. So I want you to take one deep breath in and deep breath out, rolling those shoulders back. And we're gonna start off with a gentle neck stretch. I want you to think about reaching that right hand down towards the floor as you bring that left hand over to that opposite ear. From here, you're gonna tilt to your neck slightly. So think bringing your ear down to that shoulder. To deepen this stretch, as opposed to yanking on the neck, I want you to think about reaching towards the floor just a little bit more. Excellent. Keeping that breath going. From here, option to turn your gaze down towards your armpit. You're gonna feel that stretch just in a slightly different spot of the neck. Again, to deepen the stretch, you wanna think about reaching your hand down. down we're gonna do the same thing on that other side so that opposite arm now is gonna reach down towards the floor hand comes to that ear and again tilting that ear towards your shoulder again really reaching for the floor with those fingertips And from here, turning your gaze down towards the armpit. Keeping those breaths going. And slowly releasing that stretch. Rolling those shoulders back, we'll get into a shoulder stretch next. So bringing your right arm across the body, rolling that shoulder down away from your ear. Opening up through the back of that shoulder muscle. and slowly releasing that stretch. Same thing on the other side. Opposite arm comes across. Again, shoulder comes down away from your ear. releasing. Getting into our tricep muscle next, you're going to take that right arm. It's going to come up and over. Think about reaching your fingertips down your spine. Rib cage stays closed. If it's too much to grab onto the elbow like so, you can follow Emily holding in front. slowly releasing that stretch same thing on the other arm up and over fingertips reach down the spine again checking in with that rib cage making sure it stays closed slowly 
releasing that stretch. I want us to interlace those fingers in front of us. From here, you're gonna think about pulling your fingers and hands away from your body, tucking that chin under, really opening up through that upper back. breaths and slowly releasing that stretch rolling those shoulders back we're gonna make our way down to a tabletop position so I want us to set up wrists right underneath those shoulders knees right underneath those hips I'm gonna give you guys a couple different angles here to follow along. We are going to start with that right hand. Palm is gonna face up and we're gonna scoop under as if we're threading the needle. Shoulder and ear can come down to rest on the mat. One more deep breath here. And when we're ready, we're gonna press up, opening up through the chest. Perfect, we're gonna do this one more time. So again, sweeping the hand under. And on that next exhale, slowly pressing up, opening up through the chest. Resetting in that tabletop position, we're gonna do the same thing now on that other side. So that opposite hand is gonna come through. Again, ear and shoulder rest down on the mat. When we're ready, slowly pressing up, opening up through the chest. And one more time, sweeping that arm under. Ear and shoulder to the mat. And on that next exhale, opening up through the chest. And making our way back to that tabletop position. We're gonna get into a hip flexor and thigh stretch next. So bringing that right foot in between the hands. When we're ready, slowly bringing those hands up to the thigh. Checking for two 90 degree angles here. That back knee is right underneath that hip. And we're gonna think about driving those hips forward. If you need a little bit more here, option to flip that toe to the floor. If you're fine where you are, stay where Emily is. Again, really driving those hips forward. Bringing the hands back down to the inside of that foot, wrapping that leg back around, resetting, same thing now on that opposite side. 
So that opposite foot is gonna come in between the hands, slowly walking those hands up to thigh, checking for those two 90 degree angles and driving those hips forward. Again, if we need a little more option to flip that toe, Perfect. One more breath here. And slowly bringing those hands back down to the inside of that foot, wrapping that leg back around. From here, we're gonna find a child's pose. So knees come apart, toes together. And I want you to send those hips back in towards the heels. Keeping this child's pose active getting into that low back. From here, I want you to walk your hands over to the left side. Staying here if it's enough. If you need a little bit more, option to take that right hand and place it on top of the left. Feeling that stretch into that lat. back to center. Same thing now on the other side. So walking those hands over to the right. Staying here if it's enough or option left hand comes over the right. Feeling that stretch all through the side of that back. back to center and from here we're slowly going to press up making our way back to our backs and we're gonna stretch out that seat muscle so we're gonna find a figure four stretch we're gonna lay back we're gonna take that left leg crossing it over the right foot stays flexed. Think about driving that knee towards that opposite wall. Staying here if it's enough. If you need a little bit more, option to thread the needle, hugging that knee and ankle in towards the chest. Again, if this is too much, you can stay with Emily. really using the breath in this stretch. So using those exhales to drive that knee a little bit further to that opposite wall or hug that knee and ankle in a little tighter to the chest. One more deep breath here. Slowly releasing that stretch, resetting, same thing on the opposite side. So that opposite leg crosses over the thigh, foot is flexed, knee drives towards that wall. Staying here if it's enough, or threading the needle, hugging knee and ankle in towards the chest. thinking about the breath, deep inhales, deep exhales, and with those exhales, sinking a little deeper into the stretch.
one more breath here. And slowly releasing. Hugging both knees into the chest, giving them a good hug. Massaging out that low back. And when we're ready, slowly rolling on to our side. And we're gonna make our way to a seated position to finish off with a couple more low body stretches. So we're gonna start off with an inner thigh stretch. So finding that butterfly position. I want the soles of the feet to touch. And to start off, you wanna think about keeping that spine up nice and tall. I want you to think about driving those knees down towards your mat. Staying here if it's enough, or we can always hinge at that hip, so keeping that back nice and tall. We're long. Do you think about, again, pressing those knees down towards the mat? We're going to do this one more time, this time allowing the spine to curve. You're going to feel the stretch a little bit more in that low back. So we can start by hinging at that hip and then letting that chin tuck under. Again, really driving those knees down towards the floor. Slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Head coming up last, rolling those shoulders back. Maybe bringing those legs out in front, giving them that little shake, that little reset. And we're gonna set up in a hamstring stretch. So bringing that left foot into that right inner thigh. I want you to think of inhaling, bringing the arms up, rotating your torso towards that working leg and folding forward at the hip, reaching for toe, ankle, or calf, wherever you're at. Thinking about keeping that back nice and long, lengthening out through the back of that leg. Maybe flexing that foot if you want a little bit more. Inhale, slowly coming back up. We're gonna reset, same stretch on that other side. So switching it out. Again, inhaling the arms can come up, rotating that torso towards that working leg and folding forward at the hip. Again, keeping that back nice and long. And slowly coming back up. We're going to extend both legs out long in front of us. A calf stretch and then we'll finish off in a deep hamstring stretch. So keeping those legs out nice and straight, I want you to think about bringing that left foot over the right, so heel to toe. And then you're going to think about reaching that opposite hand towards that toe, really feeling that stretch in that calf. Flexing that top foot. stretches and we can slowly release that same thing other side so again setting up heel to toe opposite arm reaches your hand opening up through that calf
slowly releasing that stretch. Okay, our final stretch today. I want us to keep our legs out nice and long. Again, hinging at that hip. Inhale, arms can come up. Your toes face the ceiling. And we're gonna reach forward again for toes, ankles, calves, wherever you're at. We're gonna stay in this stretch for a couple deep breaths. So I want you to use your breath, thinking about inhaling and on those exhales, maybe reaching just a little bit further. Here, inhale and exhale. And when you're ready, slowly starting to release that stretch. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time, head coming up last, rolling those shoulders back, and you are all finished for your stretching class. That was <laughs> excellent. I definitely feel a lot more relaxed, feel like all stretched out from the top of my head to my toes. So thank you so much, Sam, for that guided stretch today. So if you enjoyed this stretch, you want to try another one with us, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And um, if you're in the Winnipeg region and you want to check out a class in studio, you can look us up on our website, www.55fitness.com. And if you're not here in Winnipeg, but you want to do a class, you can always do an online class with us too. So check us out on our website and we will see you next time. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.